What up, squad? Busy world. So I got a topic for y'all today. On my timeline, I saw this young boy just snapping on the fucking cops. And you know how we do. Motherfuckers eat it up like it's Thanksgiving dinner. It made me think of a motherfucking subject today. You did. What it made me think of was why, to me, the fuck 12 or fuck cops mentality is just straight up asinine. And why improving the relations between cops and the neighborhoods they patrol will be the biggest benefit to blacks across the nation. Now... I felt the need to speak on this subject for a few different reasons. For one, I feel as though it's completely asinine for anyone to alienate a whole group of people based off of their race, religion, sex, sexuality, occupation, just because of a few bad seeds. For two, I think one of the biggest issues across America is not raising our children to respect authority. For three, I think fixing the relations between the neighborhoods and the cops patrolling these neighborhoods could be the biggest change in American history. Now let's get into how asinine that statement is. For one, in every walk of life, you got good and bad people. Yes, I want to see the bad cops when they make their mistakes and they kill an innocent person. Mind you, I didn't say brother or Hispanic person. An innocent person in general. I want to see them pay the price that a normal U.S. citizen would pay. Yes, but that doesn't mean that you alienate a whole fucking civil service because of one or a few bad seeds. As Americans, we love to focus on the negatives, but let's be real. There's a lot of positive stories about these cops out here that we refuse. We refuse to hear. Now, let me give y'all an example of that. I done had cops say they was going to make me clean my own spit up because I spit in the wrong direction or spit the wrong way. I had cops say they was going to knock me the fuck out or knock the smile off my face just because I was smirking. But you know what else I had? I had a cop save my life, man. I got caught with a whole bundle on me. And if they booked me like they should have and could have, I'd still be going through that revolving door of the system we know is the justice system. I want to say thank you to them cops. You saved my life. Real shit. Last thing I want to touch on an, on about the asinidity, if that's a fucking word, of this whole movement and mentality is that who would protect the elderly, the kids, and the women of these neighborhoods? Y'all? Fuck y'all got a bat signal? Fuck y'all all Bruce Wayne fighting crime now? Get the fuck out of here, man. Cut me, with, cut me out with that dumb shit. Y'all be the same niggas that'll kill the same nigga that you grew up with from the sandbox over a few dollars from a fucking pack. But I'm supposed to expect you to protect my grandma if she happened to have her crib broken into, right? Dead. Now, I think it's a national problem or a problem across the nation because you think about what does... The adults laughing and and reposting videos of these kids disrespecting cops do and say to their undeveloped minds. It tells them that disrespecting authority is going to get them the attention and popularity that they want. And that's all that kids their age seek. So from a young age, y'all wiring them to say, to get what you want, don't respect authority at all. Yourself. I know for a fucking fact that if the relations between these neighborhoods and these cops patrolling these neighborhoods get rectified and they go for the better, it will be the biggest change that you will see in American history. Look at this cop in Little Rock, Arkansas. Mind you, Little Rock, Arkansas was the murder capital for a couple years. Like, they, that ain't no sweet-ass city. And this cop gets nothing but love, but from an all-black community, because he comes down there with respect. And not only that, the people in the neighborhood perceive and receive him respectfully. The big thing with us is receiving these cops respectfully and treating them like humans, talking to them, playing ball with them. Like when them uh, brothers on the block up north was bidding on the motherfucking cop and the cop ain't taking it too seriously. He was trying to bid right back. That was dope as shit to me because that's what we need. You got these cops coming down that never set foot in these all black neighborhoods. You feel what I'm saying? Coming down to protect us and what we do. We spit at them and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Of course that's going to have a negative effect on them and how they react to our calls or react to us in general. Think about it logic. No, of course, I'm not saying that it's okay for them to come in here and beat on us and rob us and, and, and kill us because they're uncomfortable or they don't feel wanted. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same token, you look at it, most cops are white. You feel what I'm saying? You don't see too many Indian cops, too many Asian cops. You don't see too many uh, 
Haitian cops, Jamaican cops, Puerto Rican, Hispanic cops. You don't see too many black cops. But why is it that the disconnect only lays in Hispanic and black neighborhoods between cops and the communities that they patrol? You know why? Because when these cops go to Asian neighborhoods to patrol, how you doing, Mr. Johnson? You want a free coffee? They come to a Hispanic neighborhood, niggas spitting at them, throwing bricks at them and shit. Now, the biggest reason I feel as though fixing the relations between cops and the neighborhoods that they're patrolling would be the biggest change in American history because at the end of the day, it's going to show these Hispanic and African American kids that it's okay to be a cop. How do y'all think the relations will get better in these neighborhoods without people from these neighborhoods actually becoming cops and patrolling these neighborhoods? How do y'all think it's going to happen? Give me one circumstance in the history of mankind where changes happen without you getting on the inside of the other side or you having a man that's on the other side on your side. You can't. It's never happened. Now, the last thing I want to say on this whole subject, it's a question directed towards the people who talk all that fuck cops, fuck 12 shit. It's a question, a few questions. For one, how y'all gonna protect the neighborhood without cops? A real serious answer, because I'm gonna be ready for a fucking clapback. And the last one is, what makes you different than Trump saying, let's bring a Muslim ban because all Muslims are terrorists? Let's build a wall on the U.S.-Mexican border because all Mexicans are rapists and gangbangers. What makes you any different from that man? So in conclusion, it's asinine to me to say fuck cops or fuck 12 because it's stupid as shit to me to just alienate a whole group of people because you ran into a few bad apples from that same group of people. Plus, I'm not putting no food on the table and I'm not putting nobody's kids through school. So who am I to judge the occupation that you chose for two? It's straight up. Dumb as fuck to raise your children to think it's cool to disrespect authorities. For three, I think the biggest change in American history could be the relations between cops and the communities that they patrol being fixed. But let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's dumb or asinine to say fuck cops or fuck 12? If not, let me know why. Come with some logical reasons. Uh, do y'all think that the biggest change in American history could be the uh, relations between cops and the communities that they patrol being fixed? If not, let me know where I come with some logical shit. Uh, Y'all know what this is. Just give me some feedback. Gang.